Hi, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Now, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute and adorable, silly, cute, sweet, squishy, everything but not scary spider. <laughs> It's just a fun spider pillow. I think I'm going to put it in the window so my trick-or-treaters can see it. Isn't it cute? Now, this is a super simple pattern. It's made with blanket yarn. It stitches up really quick. And it has these adorable eyes. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I'll tell you more about the yarn and the eyes later. Now, I do have this little spider web here. If you want to learn how to make this, I'm going to do this on Monday as a quick video for Monday. I'm going to show you how to make the spider web and a small purple little spider. I'll do that on Monday. Today we're going to make the big spider pillow. Isn't it cute? <laughs> now you can find this spider pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it measures 14 inches long by 11 inches across, and that doesn't even count the legs. To make our silly, not scary spider, you're going to need some blanket yarn. And this blanket yarn is from Burnett Yarnspirations. It's, a, it's called Tie Dye-ish. And the color is lavender, and it's just shades uh, purple and white. And I thought it was perfect for this spider. I picked this up at my local Hobby Lobby. I think Michael's has it, and so does Joanne's. It's really neat. I love they call it tie dye ish because it does kind of blend from one color to the next. It does not have these like abrupt color changes. You can see how it just sort of blends from the darker to the lighter as it goes into the next color. All right, it is a bulky number six, so you can use any number six yarn that you want to. I just wanted it to be purple, and I bought this a few months back, and when I turned around and saw it, I thought, that is the perfect yarn for our cute, not scary, spider. <laughs> You're going to need approximately six ounces of this yarn. Okay, this skein has 10 and a half. So if you buy one of these, you'll have plenty. All right, we're going to be stitching today with our L hook, which is an eight millimeter. And we're using that because we wanna pull those stitches in just a little bit tighter so our stuffing doesn't show. And that's right, we're going to be stuffing our spider with just regular old polyester fiber fill. Now the exact amount is kind of up to you. It just depends on how tightly you want to stuff your spider. I like mine stuffed a little bit light so it's a little more squishy. Now we're going to be adding some wiggly eyes and I purchased these at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 and you get one set and they're nice sized, 24 millimeters, 94, 0.94 of an inch, so it's not quite an inch, but almost. And I love them, the little dot in there does wiggle around, so that's fun. And you're going to need two, and two come in a package, of course. And don't worry, I'll show you how to add those on in such a way that they won't slip through into the stuffing, all right? Now, you don't have to have the big wiggly eyes. If you prefer just to make a black circle, or maybe crochet an eye of another way, you certainly can. I just love these when I saw them. I was buying smaller eyes for another project, and then when I saw this, I thought, that is perfect for my big, squishy, not scary, <laughs> spider. And then, of course, you're gonna need a needle just for weaving in ends. This is going to be so much fun. I just know you're gonna love making our sweet, cute, squishy, not scary spider. <laughs> We're going to begin with our slip knot. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail around our hook and pull it through. Snug that down and tie that stay knot. If you prefer to use the magic circle or another method to begin our circle, 
You certainly can. All righty, we're gonna go in that circle, pull up a loop and chain three. One, two, and three. That counts as one double crochet. And now we're going to double crochet nine more. I do recommend that when you're stitching up this spider that you tighten up your tension just a little bit and that's so that our stitches are nice and snug. And if you're struggling with that, you can always go down a hook size because we want our stitches to be nice and snug so our stuffing doesn't show through. You'll also notice I'm stitching over my tail of yarn and that's so I can pull that and close up that hole in the center. This is the back of our spider and we don't want a hole in the back of our spider. All right, let's see how many double crochets I've stitched. So here's our chain three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine and 10. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three, one, two, three. Get a little more yarn out here. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this over. We're gonna grab that tail of yarn, gently pull on that to close up that hole and grab our needle. Sometimes threading the needle with a fuzzy yarn is difficult. I almost always just fold it over, try to make it as flat as possible to get through that hole. All right, pull that out of the way. All right, now this is very important because we do not want to have a hole in the top of our spider. All right, so I went one way. I'm gonna come up and come back the other way. Using the bent needle on this particular project, I like um, using it because it makes it easy to get under those stitches. All righty. Let's see, where did I put my scissors? Here they are. Clip. All right, so for round one, we have 10 double crochets. We joined our chain three and chained three. Let's do round two. For round two, we're going to double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. And then we'll go to the next stitch and stitch two double crochets. And we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. And remember, tighten up your gauge or your tension just a little bit because we want it to be nice and snug so when we stuff it, we don't have our stuffing coming through. All right, so two double crochets in each of our double crochets working all the way around this row or round. And then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched two double crochets in each of those 10, so I have 20 double crochets. I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now for round three, we're basically doing the same thing we did on round two. We're going to double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three, and then two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. This is gonna make a nice round back for our spider pillow that's not creepy or scary at all. <laughs> Alrighty, so two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. And then again, we'll join back to our chain three. We stitched two double crochets in each of those 20 double crochets. So now we have 40 double crochets. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch 
and again, chain three. One, two, and three. Now, for row four, we're going to do what I call three and two. So our chain three counts is our first, so we'll double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two, and that gives us three individual double crochets. Then in the next stitch, we're going to stitch two double crochets. One and two. And so we've stitched three and two. All right, so what we're going to do for our repeat is one double crochet and the next three. One, two, three, and then two double crochets in that next double crochet stitch. Three and two. <laughs> One double crochet in the next three. There's one, two, three, and then two double crochets in the next. One and two. And we'll repeat that three and two all the way around and join back to our chain three. I have completed round four. We stitched one double crochet in the next three, two in the next, and repeat, so we have 50 double crochets. We're again going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And again, our chain three counts as our first double crochet. This time, we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next three, which will give us four double crochets. Then we'll stitch two double crochets in the next. One and two. And so our repeat for round five is one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four, and then two double crochets in the next. One and two. And again, we'll just repeat this all the way around and join back to that chain three. So one, two, three, four double crochets, one in each of the next four, and then two in the next. So we're doing four and two. And like I said, we'll repeat that around and join back to our chain three. I have repeated one double crochet in the next four, two in the next, all the way around. We have 60 double crochets. I joined my chain three and I only chained one. This is the body of our spider. Now we're gonna form that little head. So we only chain one. All right, so we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. We're going to skip two double crochets and then we're going to make a shell stitch. And our shell stitch is six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets all in the same stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. And then chain one. Okay, that's not our head yet. That's just the beginning of making the bump that's going to be the head of the spider. So we have our single crochet. We skip two. We have six double crochets skip two, single crochet, 
chain one. We chained one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to single crochet in the single crochet. We're going to single crochet in the next double crochet. In the next four double crochets, we're going to stitch two double crochets. So one, two, there we go, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so then that leaves one double crochet, so we'll single crochet in that double crochet, then we'll single crochet in that single crochet, and then slip stitch in the next stitch and chain one. And see how that head is forming? Don't worry about this. We're going to come back around and we'll fix that little bump. All right, so we slip stitched in the next stitch and chained one. Now we're going to turn back to the front of our work. We're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. Now we're going to double crochet in the next two. One, two. All right, the next four stitches, we're going to stitch two double crochets in each. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. Now we're going to single crochet, oh, I'm sorry, double crochet only once in the next two stitches. One, two. All right, so there's our head. And then those last two stitches here, we're going to single crochet, one, two, and then slip stitch in that last stitch there, just like that. And that is the head of our spider. All right, so we'll take our scissors and we'll cut that off. I am going to slip stitch down here in that next stitch just to bring us down because I want to pull that to the inside so our head has a nice edge there when we go to put the two together. There we go. And there's the head of our spider. Now you'll need to repeat what we just did so that you have two because you're going to need a front and a back for your spider. Before we put them together, you wanna add your safety eyes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've already got one on here and I'm going to show you how to do that. But I want to bring my camera in a little bit closer. Now again, this is the safety eyes that I purchased at Hobby Lobby for $1.99. You just get the two big 24 millimeter or 0.94 inch eyes, almost an inch. All right, now the key to getting your wiggly eye in without it slipping through is to go in a crochet stitch. All right, so I've got one already in there. So I'm going to use this stitch right here. I'm gonna sort of pull it open and I'm gonna go right in the stitch, not in the hole between, because if you put it in a hole between, it will probably slip through, all right? And I like the way those look. Okay, so I've got it in there. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna push this back a little so you can see it is going through a stitch. All right, I'll put those back. Then you'll just take this piece here and push it on. Nice and tight. 
and that's going to hold your safety eyes on. I do recommend if you're going to give this to a baby, then maybe you crochet some eyes on just in case they might pull that off. All right, that's how you add the safety eyes. We're going to stitch the front and the back together before we um, add the legs on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stitch it together and then stuff it and then we'll add the legs on. All right, it's just a little bit different way of doing this, but I really like the effect of how it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave an opening down here on the bottom. So you can just go in anywhere towards the center. Just leave it big enough to get your hand in there. And we'll grab our yarn. And we're going to single crochet all the way around. We're going to go around the body, around the head, back around here. Leave an opening. We're going to stuff it, and then we'll close that opening. And then the last portion, we'll be adding those legs to our spider. All right, and we're going to do this with single crochet stitches. Just going from front and back. makes a nice edge and remember you want your eyes on the outside so be careful not to put that upside down you don't want them on the inside <laughs> all righty so I'm just gonna work around my spider single crocheting the front and the back together and then I'll show you how to stuff it and close it up and then lastly of course we'll add those fun legs not creepy not scary fun <laughs> I have evenly stitched all the way around my spider stitching the front and back together we're going to leave our yarn attached I always make a little bit big of a loop that way I don't accidentally pull that out and now we're just going to stuff our spider and the amount of stuffing that you use of course is up to you I like to go in first and do the head, make sure it's nice and poochy, cover up those ends inside. Okay, I mean, they're not gonna pop through if you put them in there right, but you never know, playing around with it, it can. And so I wanna make sure that head is nice and stuffed and those edges of those, bottom of those eyes aren't going to be a problem. All right, and so then I'm just gonna tear off pieces and continue to stuff my spider. And again, it's up to you how much you put inside. I want them to be squishy and lovable, and but I also don't want it to be, you know, too loopy, too loosey. I don't know if that's the right word, but, you know, not enough stuffing. Because <laughs> I know my grandkids, they're going to play with this. I mean, who's not going to play with this cute spider, right? All right, so I've got him stuffed. I think he's stuffed nicely, or she. I'm going to need her to have a name. You guys have to help me give her a name. All right, so now I'm going to come back over here and close up my spider's bottom. <laughs> and we just do that the same, of course, just stitch those single crochets, closing up the bottom of our spider. And right now it looks a little bit like an amoeba, right? <laughs> well, once we get those legs on, you're gonna see it is gonna be the most adorable spider you have ever seen. All righty. There we go. Just a couple more stitches. All right. Now I'm just going to join in here. Cut that off. I'm going to pull this loop to the bottom of my spider. So I get, you know, a nice finished edge. And I'm going to grab my needle. Here's where we started. Here's our end one. And I'm going to weave both of these in. When you're weaving in with this type of yarn, it can be a little bit more difficult. All right. And I like to just go up. There we go. And I'll come back. But I'm going to go in that stuffing and sort of wind that needle around 
and then just poke it up another place and then just pull that inside. This one's a little bit short, so I'm going to do this one a little bit different where I'm going to go through first, then thread that on. Should have made that one a little bit longer. All right. Then I'll just go back in, wind that around some of that stuffing, poke it up through another spot. And now my ends there where I weaved in are all hidden. And there's my spider. But this little spider needs some legs. <laughs> all right, the last thing we need to do is, of course, give our spider some legs or it can't crawl. So what we're going to do is here's our head. Here's our last stitch, and we're going to count down five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put our hook in that fifth stitch. We're going to grab our yarn and leave yourself a little bit of a tail for weaving in, and we're going to chain 13 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen chains. All right. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we'll single crochet in each of those chains, working back up to our spider. Oops, there we go pulled forward a little bit. Sorry about that. Alrighty, so we started in the second chain from the hook, so we're going to have 12 single crochets. Alrighty, I'm going to pull that because that's pulling out a little. So I have single crocheted in each of those stitches, so I have 12 because we started in the second chain from the hook. We're going to slip stitch in that same stitch. Then we'll slip stitch in the next stitch. And then slip stitch in the next. All right. And now we'll repeat what we just did. We'll chain 13. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 13. And we'll continue to single crochet in each of our chains back up to the body and then we'll slip stitch in the same stitch in the next two just like we did on that first leg and we'll repeat it two more times after this so that we have four legs on this side of the spider's body. Right, we're going to slip stitch in the next two. We slip stitched in the same one and then slip stitched in the next two. And then again, we're going to chain 13 chains. We'll repeat this two more times so we'll have four legs on this side of our spider. So now my spider has four legs on this side. I'm going to slip stitch in that same stitch and then slip stitch in the next two just like on the other ones, and we'll cut our yarn. All right, we're going to pull that to the back of our spider. We'll flip them over. And now I'll take a few minutes and weave these two ends. Then we'll go to the other side of the spider and we'll be working on the back side this time to make those legs. We'll count down five and we'll make those four legs on this side of our spider. So these are the ones we did on the front and then we came over here and we worked the back side edge for the legs and they're going to curl the wrong direction, okay? So when we turn it over, you want to make sure, I mean it's up to you how you want your toes to curl on your spider legs, but I like to take them and 
bend them the other direction, but it really doesn't matter. It's up to you if you want your legs to curl up or curl down. You just have to move them up. That's all. Like that. Okay. So there's our spider. He's got all eight of his legs or her legs. And actually, it needs a name. What would you call our squishy, not scary, sweet, cute, fun spider? <laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs>